Hey everyone and welcome back to another Cooking with Positive Smash. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. We are going to be making some beef and bean tacos. I don't eat beef, so we're going to use Beyond Beef Feisty Crumble. So, I'm pretty much going to tilt you guys right down and we're going to get into dicing these Yukon Gold Potatoes. That's what potatoes they say because they're a little less starchy, I think, than um, like russet potatoes some avocados. I've got a bunch of tomatoes because I'm going to make a batch of my salsa and I'll remember or try to remember to put the card for it over here so that you can just go to that. Uh, I won't show you that part since I already have the video for it. Some cilantro, some green onions, and then for the salsa we need sereno peppers. And then I also have some jalapeno peppers in case I want to add those to the beef. It depends once I add the potatoes and see how spicy it is, how we're doing there. Um, yeah, I'm going to wash these off and be right back. Okay, we are going to quickly peel the potatoes. And then I think... The recipe said dice them. So we will make sure before I continue on and start cutting them up. You can always cut them larger and then cut them smaller, but you can't cut them small and then add back to them. Darby, do not. Carter, hey, he just stole a cat toy off the table. Excuse me, that was not for you, buddy. He loves cat toys. Let me know if any of your guys' dogs are like that and are really into cat toys. I think I've read somewhere that catnip has the same effect on dogs. Or some dogs, as it does for cats. Because same thing with cats. is uh, Catnip doesn't affect all cats, just some cats. So I wonder if that is the similar thing for those. This is a huge one. I probably didn't need all three of these. But leftovers are not a bad thing. And especially leftovers of Beyond Beef. Because then I can just heat up some beans and make like a quick little taco bowl for lunch. Ooh, that sounds good. I can't wait to eat these tacos. Oh, and then I also will probably cut up some lettuce as well for them. I did not say that in my what you'll need for this. It's kind of, all, all the toppings are kind of optional. Up to what you guys, what your own preference is. Oh, I need this paper towel to wipe my hand off when we're done, too. Got, like, uh, potato juice on it. Okay, let's see what they say. Uh, fine diced. Also, in the recipe, added them to the beef, like, the whole time. I don't know if I'll do that, just because the Beyond Beef is already cooked, so I don't want to, or, you know, not that it's cooked, it's just not really meat. It doesn't need to be overly cooked like that. So, I, I guess I'll try it the way the recipe calls for, and I'll just, you know, dice them pretty, pretty diced. Pretty, pretty diced. I 
And I'll probably speed this up because you don't really need to see. Same thing over and over again. I know I felt the hair. Okay. And actually, I'm going to wrap this one in a wet paper towel and put it in a bag because I definitely feel like an entire bowl is plenty. And I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to, like I said, wrap this up in a paper towel and put it in a bag, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just realized that my camera's probably about full of memory, so that's good. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some avocados. Let's, please don't disappoint me, avocados. That's not bad, not bad. Do I need to, that's always the question, because sometimes I like a bunch of avocados, and other times I'm just like, meh. Let's get into it, and then I'll see how, uh, how this one tastes, if I want to. No, no man left behind on this avocado. What I do is I don't like that little brown nub, so what I'll do is I'll push the knife like right up against it. So then I get everything around it. But not that brown little nub. I don't know why I've always done that. Okay. My girl Ashley Creel gave me a really good idea for some guacamole. I really want to do that, but I know my boyfriend's going to be like, Ugh, it's too much lie. Like whoever commented back to you. <laughs> I don't think it's too much lime. I agree. Because this is one avocado, and I'm already using a whole entire half of a lime. So, to me, using, like, Four limes for six avocados. That's not. That's not too much. That's just enough. Okay. See, and it could even use just that tiny, tiny bit more. And then salt. And just a dash of pepper. And she said garlic salt. Or I only have gran like garlic granules, so I'm going to put just a little bit of that in there. I just put a tiny, tiny bit for now. I 
I should do a mukbang of just guacamole. Mmm. You'd be like heaven to touch guacamole so much. At long last, guacamole has arrived. And I think guacamole, I'm alive. You're just guacamole to be true. I guacamole you. Oh my god. So good. Mmm, girl. Yeah, that garlic salt adds just like a nice little layer of taste. Oh, I've bit my tongue. Oh. Mmm. I dropped a chip. Oh my goodness. I see. This is why I might need that other one. Give you some ASMR feels. Mmm. Fudge. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just make the other avocado. Mm. I'm really hungry, so <laughs> having a little snack doesn't hurt. Okay. No, I'm gonna just, this will be fine. If we need more, I have it. I can make more. But, for now, I'll just do the one. Just in case, I'd rather not waste avocado. I'd rather, like, if I need more. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Come. Lord. Um... If I need more, I can make more, but if you have too much left over, sometimes I just let it go bad and that's not good, so. Mm. I'm eating this, so that's why I put my finger in it and lick it. I don't care. It's going in my mouth. Where my tongue is. Okay, I'm going to make that salsa really quick, and then we'll come back. Uh, and, then, and while I do that, I will... Cut up the green onion and cilantro as well. And then in a minute, well, once we come back, I will put these in the oven on 250 and some aluminum foil just to make them pliable. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you guys in just a second. Erky, I'm back. And the meat, meat is about done. So these tacos were supposed to be fried and should I fry them? Yes? Okay. So I will fry them. And what I'm going to do is check these potatoes and make sure they're done. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I think they're about done. I should have some water in it just for the potatoes to keep cooking a tiny bit. And then they say, like, put oregano on it. I'm definitely going to add more salt and probably a tiny bit of spices. Since potatoes are so damn bland. There's our meaty potato 
mixture. I'm going to take these shells out of here. Pop a couple on the oven rack. I probably want to eat three, and even if I want more than three, all I have to do is I'll just use the regular one. I don't need a, a bunch of fried ones. Okay, a little bit of I'm gonna use this little bit deeper one so that if it splashes, it doesn't splash out. That's all the oil I'm going to do just because, I don't know, this should be fine. Alright, let me taste the potato. Mmm. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do, I'll move you. Okay, now what I think we're going to do, let me grab toothpicks real quick, sorry. I try not to jiggle you too much. But sometimes, ooh, just like that, I'm sorry. It just happens. But I ain't got the time. And in my bed, everything's having fun. Try to make me go to head. And I'm like, no, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna take this mixture. And take this spatula. We're going to try to like seal it up. We'll see if I can do this or if I'm going to be a fail blog. Mm. Okay. No, this is so not easy. They're just like, just scare it. It's good. Now, I wor what I worry about is the little ends, because these are not sealed up, the little ends. Oh my goodness, this is like a lattice work on a taco. It's weird. Okay, now we're going to fill up one more before we get into that hole. And these are actually quite done, so I'm going to take them all out. And they stink. Ooh, hot. Ooh, hot. Okay. There was the hair. I'm trying, you got to remember you're going to have all your toppings on here still, so you don't want to completely like stuff these things, which I just did. Damn. This is really hard to like get how much in here correctly without it like bursting out of the seams. Okay. And hair. Fuck. My life with the hair. Oh my god, there it is again. Go away, hair. Go away. Okay. 
this better be goddamn worth it, let me tell you, all this lattice of a taco work. Plop them in. Okay, and now while these are going, I'll show you. So while those are going, I'm going to immediately get it working on the next two. Because as you could see, it took a little minute for me to make them. So I don't want to have those be done and not be ready for the next two. And I kind of want a little bit more meat in these ones. Because the potatoes kind of bulk it out, and that's what makes it not want to close. Okay. And those are ready to turn already. But this is a quick process. You need to be prepared. And I'm not. Yes, crispy, beautiful taco. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. Twenty nine, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. They're probably already done. Twenty nine, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. They're probably already done. Just give me a moment thing. I need to finish my other ones. Fuck. This is so hard. I should have made a bunch of them before I started frying. Fuck. Okay. Yes, these two are gorgeous. Gorgianas. They leak oil though, so that's kind of sucky that like that is quite a lot of oil. Okay. Next two are ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 30, they're probably just about ready for me to turn already. Finishing these last, I think I got one more after this to fill. It's becoming a little bit easier as I kind of figured out how to do it. It still is a lot of like latticing together a taco, which is a bit strange. Yeah, those are ready to turn. Oh shit. Goodness, sometimes the potatoes get flipped and I don't want to go in the taco. Ow! Keep stabbing myself with toothpicks, so it's not really fun. Check these buddies. And they are about done. So that's that's it. I mean, 
We are done. I'm going to turn these into tacos. And we're going to sit down. I'll show you throwing them the next two and then I'll say goodbye. Or actually, I'll do the next two. <laughs> I'm going to make the third one and then I'll say goodbye. Just so that I have the last one ready to go. Okay. This one's going to be a lot of potatoes. I probably could have only done one potato. That probably would have been fine. But I'm always like, what if it's not enough? And I'm almost done braiding this last one. And that's what it looks like before it goes in. I'll braid it up. Okay. If you guys enjoyed tonight's cooking with Positive Smash, please smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I make new videos every single day. And join us back here tomorrow for Hot Wings. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.